Yeah, it's the Archivist, y'all, exclusively interviewing the extraordinary Wayne Wonder. That's me, <laughs> live in person. And who is Mr. Wayne Wonder? No, I'm out of Jamaica. I'm a dancehall reggae singer. Been doing it for years. Still grinding. This is what we do. My motto is never you quit, never give up, still pushing, you know? And what has been the best album that you've released and why? Uh, best album, most successful album I've done over um, oh, since I've been doing it. I would get, say um, No Holding Back with the hit single, No Letting Go, you know, it's obvious. <laughs> and how was the experience working with King Tubby in the late 80s? Well, King Tubby basically was one of the first producers who gave Wayne Wonder the opportunity, you know, to, to record. So basically that's my that's my stepping stone, that's my gateway into this music business, you know, to hold a, a vinyl in my hand to see we in one done it, you know. So King Toby was like my inspiration, my, my, my motivator, my everything. And how is working with Buju Bantan and Tony Rebel? Well Buju Bantan, me and Buju Bantan is like brothers, you know, so the chemistry when making music was like our life, day to day. The first thing we get up in the morning, we just want to go in the studio and make music. So the chemistry was awesome, you know. And you know, the the, the moment was was a, a energy you can't explain. You have to be there to experience it. Tony Rebel, you know, been around Tony Rebel from over the years, you know, in the early days of Penthouse, and you know, those are artists that you know, no problem. It's like always have a good vibe amongst them, and you know, with us make music. And how is it being part of the band Entourage featuring Baby Sham and Frankie Sly? And to name a few, how is the fruitful beginning of Sing So collaborating with Foxy Brown and Left Eye Lopez from TLC along with Trina? Well, actually, the, 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 the Entourage was, was really my project. Entourage is really, really Sing So records. We ain't want to show you them a little gear up. Alias is really Baby Sham, Frankie Sly, Stranger, Surprise, Wayne Wonder. You know, just to clarify that, you know. I'm working with Foxy Brown, um, she was doing the album Bro Broken Silence and, you know, you know, Saturday Day was a, was a, a classic in the hip-hop market, so she just basically say, you know, Wayne, could you just do it again with me? And, you know, we just went and did it. And um, left-eye people reach out to me and, you know, say, um, when you interested to do a, do a song with left-eye, I say, yeah, that's, I'm a big fan of left-eye, you know, I wouldn't make this opportunity pass me, and it, it's, it's all about networking, and, you know, we just went and did it. And something different, The Train Is Coming, featuring Shaggy and Leaving. Tell us about these singles. Well, um, something different, um, Shaggy is like one of the artists, so I'm all the way in Jamaica, and He's doing his thing, you know, big pop star, and reach out to me in Jamaica and say, "Wayne, if you wanna, you know, wanna come and do a track with me for this this album." And you know, we hooked up with Tony Kelly when we wrote the song. Tony Kelly made the beat, and you know, the rest is what it is, history, you know. And how does it feel to be number three in the UK for the hit song "No Letting Go"? <laughs> well, that's that's every artist's dream, you know. You know, working, doing your work, and and I hope one day, you know, it will be. You know, recognized by the important people. You know, so that's a that's a a a a, a, a big part of, in my life to to just keep doing what I'm doing. I'm, what I'm doing is not in vain. You know, number three in the UK, number nine in the in the in the billboards in the states. You know, that's you know a, a Grammy nomination. That's that's every artist's dream. So it's very inspiring. And number six for No Holding Back on the top reggae albums. Elaborate on this beautiful success and being a number one single and a Grammy nomination. <laughs> well, as I say, you know, it's just, you know, it's just the hard work pay. King Toby's once told me just keep working, keep working, be true to what you do, you know, and, you know, someday, you know, you'll be rewarded. And, you know, that's, you know, I'll keep pushing and, you know, to make an album that, you know, every, every, or basically every way you go in the world, you know, people you know knows a few songs from the album. That's that's very touching. And what is the best thing about Jamaica, especially in the music business? That's the old energy, the old vibe, you know, it's like the dance hall when you're there is like 
the energy you get is just it, it, words can't explain it. You have to be there to feel that energy. It's just you know, that, that energy that it that it brings. You know, that that energy. Uh, it, that, that's all it is. That, that energy is it's something else. It just wants you to just move. Want you to go. You know, do something. And what is one of the best memories that you have in the reggae history as Wayne Wonder? <sighs> well, you know, there's so many, so many. I, I, I can't pinpoint one specifically one, but um. You know, like, you know, the, the travelers, you know, the, 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 the audience all around the world, you know, it's like amazed me to see, you know, I wrote my song in the basement and to see, you know, people of different culture, different, you know, ethnicity singing my song, you know, that's one of the big moments in my life. And Def Jam, Jamaica, another Grammy nomination? <laughs> Let us know. Anything goes when you ride. Yeah, that was produced by Tony Kelly, you know, and featured... Lexus and Narig and Capone, you know, basically they came up with this project and, you know, just wanted to be a part of it because it was something good, you know, the money, you know, was going to charity and all of that. So I just wanted to be a part of something, you know, meaningful. And you have anything else to add to our exclusive, beautiful <laughs> interview? I just want to thank all the fans who have been listening to Wayne Wonder and supporting Wayne Wonder over the years, you know. Love goes out. I can't repeat you, but you know, I keep singing for you and giving you the music that you appreciate me for. And you have anything else to let Canada know about? Yo, check this out, Canada. This one is a bombshell. Keep it locked. We in wonder. Love you forever. And you got any shout outs? Big up worldwide, all of Canada. All, all over Canada. Toronto, Vancouver, you know, Mississauga. All of Jane and Finch from my peeps them, you know, that's weird. But the first time I've been to Canada, actually, that's, that, that's weird. Eglinton, Jane and Finch, Kipling and Steele. You know, that's basically where all of my, 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 my homies are, you know. So I just want to shout out, you know. Kitchener, you know, Edmonton, you know. Places where I performed before, you know. Montreal, you know. Canada overall, respect. And you have any inspirations to make Wayne wonder who he is today? Well, you know, I just be true to what I do, you know, I love what I do, you know, work hard towards it and believe in what I do, you know, and just keep pushing. This is the Archivist, and <laughs> you already know the name, y'all. Yeah, Wayne Wonder, Archivist, this is how we do it. <laughs>